Welcome class 8. Today we are going to learn in this video about spherical mirrors. In the last class we have already learned about the terms and definitions of spherical mirrors and today we are going to continue with the rules of reflection for spherical mirrors. So there are a few rules that you need to understand how the reflection takes place in a spherical mirror whether it's a concave or a convex mirror. So rule number one, a ray of light incident at the pool is reflected as in plane mirror. That means the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Okay, now what this angle of incidence and angle of reflection means? So over here you can see, let's see, uh, Whenever you are drawing the ray di diagrams, you need to, you have to make the arrows, okay? So over here, this is a concave mirror. And over here, this is the principal axis, this is the pole. This C is the center of curvature. This F is the focus of the mirror. <coughs> and see over here, the light is incident. When the light comes as a ray and strikes the mirror it's called the incident ray and once it strikes the surface and reflects back then it's called the reflected ray so this angle formed over here marked by theta the angle made by this ray and the principal axis this angle is called the angle of incidence okay and when it reflects back, it forms another angle over here with respect to the principal axis. Okay, this angle is called the angle of reflection. So, as you can see, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. That's why they are marked with the same angle theta and theta down there. Okay, so both these angles are equal. So, this was a case of a concave mirror. It happens similarly for the convex mirror as well you can see the incident ray forming an angle theta and the reflected ray again forming the angle theta so both the angles in both the cases concave and convex both are equal rule number two a ray of light passing through or moving towards the center of curvature retraces its path after reflection what does it mean let's take the help of a figure see there is a concave mirror and this is the incident ray the red one this is passing through the center of curvature c and it's it, it is incident at the mirror over here so when the ray passes through when the ray passes through forget about or moving towards when the ray passes through the center of curvature, means from here, it will retrace its path after reflection, means it will bounce, it will strike the surface and it will reflect and bounce back in the same path, means retrace the same path after reflection, means it comes from here, reflects and returns in the same path. So this is for the concave mirror and for convex mirror again this is the incident ray it is moving towards the center of curvature this is what or moving towards means so a ray of light which is moving towards the center of curvature actually does not come and meet at center of curvature but over here only it gets reflected here it bounces and again reflects back in the same path retracing its original path so a ray of light passing through or moving towards the center of curvature retraces its path after reflection. So this is true for both concave and convex mirror. Next, next rule, rule number three is after reflection, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus of a concave mirror okay and appears to diverge from the focus of a convex mirror so over here 
concave and convex mirrors are there this means after reflection see the first one is the parallel ray which is incident at concave mirror at the surface and if the light is parallel to the principal axis then after reflection it will pass through the focus this is what it means after reflection a ray of light parallel to the principal axis see over here the ray is parallel to this principal axis and passes through the focus of a concave mirror so here it passes through the focus of the concave mirror and over here for the second case convex uh, mirror the line the incident the ray is incident to the principal axis this principal axis and the ray over here they are parallel and when it strikes the surface when it when it is incident at the surface it gets reflected over here and this ray appears to be coming out of focus see over here as if this ray is coming out of focus so it looks like it appears to diverge from the focus of a convex mirror so this is rule number 3 next rule number 4 says a ray of light passing through the focus of a concave mirror see over here a ray of light from here which is passing through the focus of a concave mirror or moving towards the focus of a convex mirror travels parallel to the principal axis after reflection means from here in a concave mirror when the light is passing through the focus after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis so this is the principal axis and this is parallel and in case of convex mirror see the light is traveling towards the focus moving towards the focus of a convex mirror it's moving towards the focus but it will not reach the focus but instead from here only it will reflect back and it it will reflect back in such a way that it travels parallel to the principal axis so here it is parallel to the principal axis so this is for the convex mirror so these are basically the four important rules uh, that you need to know okay so that's the end of our video next is assignment that you are supposed to do you'll simply copy this in your exercise book there there are no questions that you need to do no questions to be answered simply copy this in your exercise book all right and if there's any doubt just let me know through your mails thank you